I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Kamala Harris. Why haven't we talked about Kamala Harris yet? So this reading today will be on her. So Harmonious Tarot. These are some cards I picked up on vacation a few years ago. Um, and uh, actually I was in a little kiosk outside of a church. So I was surprised uh, to see um, tarot cards uh, outside of a church. But uh, then again, I wasn't. So, um, you know, if you're in touch with spirit, if you're in touch with your spirituality and... Um, and you want to go into and into the uh, church and have a little prayer and consider your life and maybe sort out some issues that you have and maybe uh, go home, throw a few cards, see if they give you some inspiration on to uh, how you're going to handle your day, your life, your issue, your week, your work, then uh, why not? These cards are similar to me of the uh, Tarot Mucha cards that I've used. Uh, but they're just a little more uh, delicate, I think. And uh, the imagery in here is nice and soft and doesn't make you work for uh, an answer. It's, uh, they're easy to interpret, and I like to use them. Although I don't use them all the time. They, they, for, me, the, uh, for me, they've got a feminine energy, which means they've got a, a softer, more cooperative perhaps, uh, energy, and, um, and it lends itself to an easy read. So if you haven't picked up a, a pack of cards, you should. What else are you going to do? You're at home. Uh, it gives you something to do with your uh, hands. Uh, it's fun to try to remember what the typical meanings of these cards are. I mean, remember, there's 78 of them, so you've got to get that committed to memory and then uh, see um, how they influence you when you pick a, some sort of a layout that you might use to sort of divine your future. And uh, although I've got to tell you, it doesn't work well for me. I can't really seem to um, work out things about myself with these cards. I always seem to do better if I'm uh, working with somebody else. So we've had the uh, uh, a good generous shuffle, and now we're going to spread them out, and we're going to see what these cards will tell us about Kamala Harris. We'll take six cards as usual. Almost looked at that card. I guess it doesn't matter. It's here. I'm gonna use it. Six. Put these aside. My trusty pointer. And okay, cards. You wanted to jump, but you're not gonna to get to. The signifier card, huh? Is a broken heart for Kamala Harris. A broken heart. What does the three of wands really tell us about a broken heart? You know, she was she was going for president, and uh, I would have to say she's a very competitive woman. And just if you do a quick run through her history uh, on the internet, you find that there's not much that she's gone after that she hasn't won. So um, this broken heart, I wonder if it's overstated, or I wonder if she really feels uh, that she wishes she had taken the top notch, and uh, if she's just biding her time. I don't know. This broken heart is a funny signature card, signifier card for me. For Kamala Harris. But the challenge to that broken heart then is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands tells us about, you know, just a lot of issues that you have to deal with. And um, so this uh, woman in this card who's, who's kind of turned her back on uh, the nuisances that seem to be uh, uh, under her skirt um, is, is chosen another way to deal with those with those uh, issues. She's sort of ignored it. She she's got her hand on her hip. She's looking to the future. She's decided, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this beautiful flower and I'm gonna go on ahead and do the best I can with what I've been given. Now, the base of this reading for Kyle Harris is the Two of Swords, and and yeah, it does say that. It says, you know what? Sometimes you have to pick a path and go. You know, I like to say that the uh, Two of Swords for me represents uh, truth and justice. All those swords can be hell. And, uh, but I don't feel like the two swords represents anything that's not, uh, that, that's evil or that we can't uh, handle. 
So the Two of Swords is the basis for reading, is picking a way to go. And she certainly had to do that. She, she saw that she wasn't going to get the top job, so she was glad, I hope, to get the number two job. She certainly seems that way. The recent past in this reading for Kamala Harris is the Two of Wands. And again, the Two of Wands is making a plan. This uh, angel has picked up uh, these two uh, stalks of flowers and is getting ready to, to almost use them like a ladder to climb onto a path. And um, she seems to be going in the opposite direction of the way the geese are flying. I don't know what significance that has, but two, two wands tell you that plans are in the works. In the sky for this reading then is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords just talks to us about, you know, I don't want to say an abuse of power, but maybe that's what got her going in the beginning. Is she saw what was happening with the previous administration and said, you know what, I need to make a move. I need to climb over this fence and, and see what I can do to influence uh, what's been happening here. So then the near future uh, or the near outcome for that is the knave of swords. And a knave in this deck would be like a page of swords. So in the court, he's bringing some truth, some, uh, some honesty to the game. It says, look, this is what I've got. It's a significant uh, tool, and uh, I think uh, we can uh, do something with it. I leave it to you to, to pick it up and run. And as a vice president, um, she's got quite a bit of influence in that regard. Now, the base uh, or the self of this reading for Kamala Harris right now is the emperor. So I wonder, I mean, the emperor speaks to us of someone who is actually really in control in charge what i say is going to happen you're going to have to follow these directions and she has been given quite a lot of behind the scenes um uh responsibilities in this administration so we're not seeing her on the tv every day but she is heavily involved in what's going on in this administration and she has helpers along the way to make sure she's comfortable and and composed and ready to move forward. And this, this emperor even has kind of a, a feminine face underneath this beard and mustache. The environment of that emperor in the self is an ace of swords. And the ace of swords says, yes, I've got this. I'm going to take it. I'm going to make a move. And this uh, angel is definitely getting ready to whirl around and use that sword um, and, and that's uh, the environment that she's in. So she's an emperor in her, in her position. And she's in the environment of we're making things happen. The hopes and the fears for Kamala Harris then are the lovers. And, you know, the lovers are really, um, you know, influence, uh, putting people together, um, making a union where there wasn't one, and, and finding cooperation and the yin and the yang of a situation. And so these lovers, Los Enamorados, which I like that sound, um, is, is a, a good place for the hopes and the fears in this, in this reading. But then the final outcome for Kamala Harris is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups really speaks to us of having to leave something behind. You know, you've got to make a choice. You've got to make the best of what you've got. You've got to move forward, continue your journey, follow the leader. We've got this woman right here looking on to this fellow who's, who's, who's walking off into the uh, into the horizon. And she has to say, let me put down those cups that, I, that were so full for me and let me go and, and see what I can bring fruitful uh, into this journey. So Kamala Harris kind of makes sense to me. I like this reading for Kamala Harris and I hope you do too. So Kamala Harris, she started with a broken heart and she found a way to get through it with strength. Um, and she's going to end up playing follow the leader to our best advantage. I like that. My name's Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's do it again tomorrow. You'll have a blast. Bye. Ciao for now.